Hey guys, today we're out the range with a rifle you've seen here before on the channel. It's the Spanish Set Me L. It's the 5.56 Spanish service rifle that uh, I've talked about once before. The reason I'm doing another video on the Set Me L is because this one is made by Malcomar and it's available from Atlantic Firearms. It's pretty much just like the HMG firearm that we featured here previously on the channel, except it's made by a different company and has a few different features, let's call them. So we're gonna talk just a little bit about this rifle today. It's not gonna be an exceptionally long video. If you wanna learn how to disassemble it or more about the history of the rifle, take a look at one of our previous videos where we show the HMG version of this rifle. But we have two different versions out here and that's what I wanna show you this afternoon. This one is the classic military green, so this would be representative of what the military service rifle would have looked like with its iron sights. And We'll break out, I did bring one of my old HMGs out so I can show it to you side by side and show you some of the cosmetic differences and uh, even, even slightly a, a slight functional difference uh, and a more historical accurate aspect of this particular rifle. We'll get to, that, get to that here in a moment. So today we're gonna be shooting some American Eagle. This is from our friends over at Federal. They supply the ammunition to the channel. It's 5.56 ammo. We're gonna run it out of this gun because it is a, uh, you know, military service rifle, so we're gonna run the, the warmer stuff, not the 223 you normally see us run on the channel. So we're gonna put some 5.56 through it, make sure she runs right. The rifles ship with an OK Industries black magazine. It's a standard NATO style magazine. The Set Me's originally shipped with their own version of the NATO magazine that was made out of steel. The early HMG guns, and maybe even the current ones, I forget, uh, shipped with the original steel Spanish magazines. These are OK Industries, standard current production for uh, US military use and made right here in the United States. All right, so let's load her up. The nice thing is, as we cut out here today, this is the first time taking the rifles to the range, is today, and uh, the iron sight version, the green one here, that we'll be shooting. The other one we're gonna show you with a red dot sight on it. Uh, the sights were zeroed right out of the box. We had to make no adjustments to it. But if you do need to make adjustments, it's very simple. It's very much like an AR-15. You have a drum on the side over here, and you have a front sight post here that you can adjust elevation and windage back here. All right, so let's fire off a few rounds. I don't quite have a, a full magazine, actually not even close. If you want to charge the rifle, it's just like an HK. You can just pull the charging handle out, pull it to the rear, release it, and it's non-reciprocating. It'll lock in the forward position, so you can shoot with your thumb like that. And let's take a few shots with this rifle at 100 yards. Hopefully you guys will hear the rounds hit the steel plate out there. They do not lock open on the last shot fired. So you just get a click, no bang. Magazine's right there by your index finger. Pull the magazine out. You can pull the bolt to the rear by pulling the charging handle to the rear. And this is one of the unique features we've talked about previously. This button right here is actually a bolt hold and a bolt release. So you can pull the bolt to the rear, push this in with your thumb, and that will lock the bolt open. To release it, push on the other side of that button. That'll drop the bolt on a fresh magazine. All right, so let's do a little bit more shooting with the green version of the rifle. Then I'm gonna show you a black rifle because they're available in different colors and slightly different feature sets. So let's take a look at the other rifle here really quick and have some fun and, a, and do just a brief video again, an overview of the new Malcomar Set Me L rifles.
30 hits and 100 yards. Not too bad, sights are definitely on. We're continuing to test this Butler Creek ASP magazine loader. Uh, we're still on the original batteries, although they're showing that they're getting pretty low. Just stick the standard magazine into the magazine well. If you insert it the right way, it certainly helps. Then just press this button. Definitely will come in handy as we continue our BCM testing video. concern I have about it is the amount of plastic used in the construction. Hopefully the internals are mostly metal for the, uh, the sake of wear. So far no issues with it though. It shows 30 loaded. Go ahead and drop the magazine out, clear the feed chute, and we have a loaded 30 round magazine. So, as I pointed out, this is the standard military configuration. Very sharp looking rifle. It is a uh, roller locked rifle. But again, check out our earlier videos on the Set Miel for more information. And here is one that is of particular interest to me. So the original military rifles, fun for military collectors like myself and just the occasional shooting. This one would probably be better suited towards somebody that wants something just a little bit different. Uh, it's set up so you can actually put an optics on it or and put optics on it. It has a 1913 rail welded to the top of the receiver. This is not something that the Spanish military did, but that does allow you to mount different types of optics. On here, I have an aim point patrol optic. And so that allows you to have a little bit more flexibility with the rifle. Other than that, the only difference between this and the military configuration would be the color. Now you will also notice that the black rifle, whoa, uh, as I almost fall over on my new little table stand here, <laughs> you'll notice that the black rifle has a standard set me looking bird cage, and then the green one has a three prong flash hider, kind of like an M16A1. Both of these would actually be correct for the set me L. All right, so let's go ahead and load up the black rifle. See if I can keep from falling off the table here. Go ahead and lock the bolt to the rear using the button. And this is one of my OK Industry magazines. Insert it, make sure it locks in, hit the release button on the opposite side, and it chambers around. All right, let's go for that 100 yard ringer once again. One thing I really, really like about the Set Me Ls is their very muted recoil impulse. They, they have almost a delayed recoil impulse. If you've ever shot a SCAR 16, for example, it's very similar to that. She's empty. Lock the bolt to the rear. Oops, gotta push on the right button back there. And the safety selector is right there. So there you have it. I think that's a very smart looking rifle. Very fun to shoot. And uh, yeah, certainly different. If you wanna to go to the rifle range and stand out a little bit, a Set Me L will certainly make a bit of a fashion statement. You don't see these every day. This is helicopter tape. You can pick it up online. I got this stuff through Amazon. These, to me, aren't everyday firearms. They're more collector's pieces. And so if you're like me, you try to protect your investments by keeping them from damaging themselves, much like HK-91s do or FALs and, and firearms like that. They throw their spent cases back, hit their own receiver, and will booger up the, uh, the Cerakote finish that's on this rifle. So you can just get some of this helicopter tape. It's uh, the reason they call it helicopter tape is because they use it on the leading edge of helicopter blades to protect it from impact of rocks and things like that. So it's, it's a really good adhesive material. And you just stick it on there. And 
do your best to get it to lay down. And it's clear, so it's a little bit of a sheen to it. But other than that, I used to use black electrical tape, and then I discovered this stuff, and uh, this is all I use anymore. So just a, a word for you collectors out there, if you wonder how you can protect your investment and stop the brass dings, pick up some helicopter tape. I have the HMG, it's an older one that was built on a used parts kit. Now the new HMGs are built on unissued parts kits and I think that's the case with all of the Malco Mars. But this is my old HMG kit. So this one was uh, has pretty well used furniture on it. And again, this is one of the earlier ones, the newer ones will look more like this, but you'll notice um, there's a, a few differences. The HMG, even on the newer ones, have a, a gray, oxidized finish, like a parkerization, I should say, on the barrel, on the hand guard, trigger, trigger guard, and then again, back here on the furniture, it's parkerized. And I think the parkerization's military correct. I don't quote me on that because it's hard finding pictures of actual military service rifles. On the Malcomar, the stock set looks virgin, nice and clean. You'll notice all the parts are refinished, all the metal parts, that are otherwise gray on the HMG are black on the Malcomar. It looks sharp and it looks brand spanking new. The biggest difference for you military collectors out there, you'll notice the HMG does not have a port flare on it. It's just smooth on the side. The actual military rifles have this port flare that you can see on the Malcomar. Also, you'll notice they've refinished the sights on this particular rifle. They didn't paint back in the numbers for the ranges on the sights on the HMG rifle. It doesn't look like they refinished it, so you can see the range marker 400 meters on the flip up sight. Now, looking at the markings itself, you take a look at the serial number, the markings, and the selector lever. It's not paint filled, it's just engraved. If you take a look at the Malcomar, you'll notice that the markings look good. These look military to me and they're paint filled on the selector lever and everything else. So it looks really, really good. It's a very clean looking rifle. Functionally, they're identical. I've had the same reliability with both, although I haven't shot the Malco Mars as much as I've shot the HMG machine guns. And I don't mean machine guns, <laughs> HMG <laughs> guns. But um, yeah, so it's really six of one, half a dozen of the other. Uh, you, you, you can either get the three prong flash hider or the bird cage. If you take a look at the few military pictures that are out there, most of them I've seen have the actual bird cage but this is not incorrect. But if you take a look at the two, you'll notice there is a difference between the HMG on top and the Malcomor on the bottom. But yeah, very similar rifles. And if I had to pick a color, I would go with this darker green. I think this is probably more correct, but again, I can't tell. But that doesn't detract from the beauty of the Malcomar. It's just a really sharp looking rifle. These are currently available on the Atlantic Firearms website. It does say on the website these are a limited production run, which doesn't surprise me. I can imagine that the parts kits are somewhat limited in availability. Keep in mind, Malcomar made really cool firearms like the UK-59 belt-fed rifle. They also made a semi-automatic PKM, and those darn things go for incredible amounts of money. So if you're looking for an investment piece, this might be it. I can't predict what the future might hold financially for a lot of these collectible firearms, but the possibility exists that these things will skyrocket in value once they're no longer available. The Malcomar rifles come in this really nice box. 
when you open them up, and these things have a really nice presentation to them. Take out the top cover foam, and this is what your rifle is going to look like in the box. So it's a nice cutout. It's well protected. You'll find the rifle, an OK Industries magazine, and this is really, really nice. A nice color manual. It gives the history of the rifle. There's the set me it replaced in military service. So it talks about the rifle in depth and the Spanish use of the rifle. And then it goes into how to care for your set me all. So this is really, really nice. Then you just have your registration cards, things like that, uh, some lubrication and a gun safety lock. So, you know, it, it comes very nicely packaged. These things retail for $13.49 with the 1913 rail. And if you ask me if, you know, these things are a solid investment for those military small arm collectors out there that are looking for, again, something a little bit different out of the ordinary, but historically significant in terms of military small arms. I hope you guys enjoyed taking a quick look at the Markomar rifles. I may have mispronounced the name early on in the video saying Malcomar. It's actually Markomar. So uh, forgive me <laughs> for butchering the name of the company potentially. I have to go back and look at the video, but I hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at the rifle. I think it's interesting. And again, if you guys are looking for something a little bit out of the ordinary, you might want to take a look at these. 1349 is what they're going for on the Atlantic website. And overall, I'm very pleased with the fit, finish, and function of these rifles. If you'd like to support us here at the Military Arms Channel, the best way to do that is to become a Patreon supporter. There is a link down below. We don't take any money from the industry. We're viewer supported. So that means the gun companies don't pay us to make these videos. They don't do anything to help us. We're 100% viewer supported. So consider becoming a Patreon supporter. Also swing by and check us out at coppercustom.com. And last but not least, please swing by and check out our Twitch. Link down below. Yes, we are gamers. If you're a Patreon supporter, you can send us a note as you're a friend on the PSN network, and you can do a stream with us on Twitch. Guys, thanks for 11 years of support, and we'll talk to you soon. Oops, wrong side. I'll figure it out eventually. <laughs>